Hi, uh, if you're watching any of these videos in the series, or maybe just something popped up. So, I was trying to give just a little explanation before I start these. Uh, so, these are Swaja moving postures, which are throws for Chong Chi Tai Chi. You can do them for Swaja. The point is, is that a lot of people maybe they're doing Chong Chi Tai Chi, they are utilizing the resources from Swaja for their uh, Chong Tai Chi. If you're, you know, that's where these moving postures are for for those people. <laughs> if you're doing swatch out, this is a great way to practice single uh, throws as postures or combinations, which is what I'm going to do today. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to do, I don't know, whatever, I have a record pop out of my mind real quick. But I think I'm going to work off of a uh, forward kick. So these are going to be combinations of two throws, or maybe, I don't know, make it a lot of two, three throws, right, to tax together. So in reality, <clears throat> if you're really good at your swag out, you should be able to do doubles and triples, as well as counters. And uh, the, the only way that you can get that is by practicing it. Meaning, <clears throat> if you don't practice doubles and triples, with a partner, and by doing stuff like this, it would be very difficult for you to uh, imagine that when you're competing. You follow me? Like it, like something could uniquely come out, right? You're 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 in there, and you're you're you're, you're wrestling with someone, and you do something, he moves. You do something else, and he falls. Right? A combination, or you do something, he moves. You do something else, he moves, and then I move again, and I finally did it. Yes, that could happen, but my point is, is that to, to push the probability up that you can get better at combinations and counters or you know doubles or triples or counters off of another person's move, which could become a combination, you've got to practice those ideas. And whether you're doing the Chong Shi Tai Chi and you're looking at the movements of it and how the Tai Chi postures and these uh, Swajia moving postures can interconnect for execution of movement. Uh, that's one thing if you're doing swatch out. Like I said again, the best way to get good at doing doubles and triples or counters to doubles is to practice those ideas. And uh, most everybody's got the attainable ability if they're willing to practice. So the forward kicking, right? Like this, right? Forward kicking. And we're going to take it, and we're going to combine two or three things to it. It's, this is one of my favorite lead-in moves, right? Just like if you were doing uh, song off or you're out there on the screen and somebody tries to attack you. You want to try to do something to initiate the, the, the action, right? I don't want to wait for him to attack me, and then I'm under the gun, and I have to try to overcome that move first. I would rather put him on defense. So that's the reason why we lead in with a kick or a strike or some type of a, a move to get some attachment to execute the throw, right? And uh, uh, this is no different in, in that regard, right? Uh, less, less those movements. But I, when I use the throw, like if you're, you're uh, wrestling, I mean, if you can make that one throw work every time, that's awesome. Some people have that skill. But there are some throws that are maybe easier for you to use as a setup to get the guy moving or to get him to respond. And then that's when you do your, your combinations. And forward kick is a great one for that. If you can take him down, that's wonderful. But if he escapes from it, I want to be able to do something else. And that's what we're going to practice with these. So we've got forward kick. And look, he's going to escape my leg. So I spin. And the leg that he has the weight on, I'm going to, I've got his arm and I've got his head, and I'm going to kick the leg out, twist and spring, right? Come to this side, skates, lift, pull, right? Here, 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 here. Right? Um, I can do the same move with interleg lifting, right? So if my toe is pointing to his heel, and I'm facing him, I'm doing twist and spring. If the foot's turned from my heel and his heel, 
are facing the same direction, and I lift the leg, that is leg lifting. It's the same, you're going to do the same spin and uh, attachment type piece. Now you can turn it into next around me, or you could push into the back of his head with leg lifting, which I think is a really good move this way. Bam, like that. Or you can grab the head and twist. Um, if you're doing the twisting spring, it's on the side, and I'm pulling across like this. Right? So, forward kick, then lift, pull, right? Forward kick, stand, lift, pull. If I do it with, so that's forward kicking and twisting spring. If I do forward kick and leg lift, right? Forward kick, leg lift, forward kick, leg lift, forward kick. Leg lifting. And again, if you practice these movements, it will help you with the coordination of the movement, with the balance, all of the attributes you need. I, if I say I drill this one thing a hundred times, it's not that hard to do it a hundred times. And uh, from there, now I go with my partner, and I've practiced the, the spinning and the turning, and the, how my hands are working with my legs, I'm going to do it smoothly. Same thing if you're doing the Chong Chi Tai Chi, you're looking at the Tai Chi postures. I do that thing a hundred times, I'm going to have a better coordination of it, whether I'm doing it just to, for the health aspect and the exercise part, or if I'm going to start out high. So, next one, uh, forward kick, and then next around is leg lift. Right? So, forward kick, next around, leg lift. Kick, next around, leg lift. Kick. Uh, forward kicking and bowing. So here, forward kick, bowing with leg lift. Forward kick, bowing with leg lift. Forward kick. And look, you can do it both ways. If I, I do forward kick this way, he escapes, I can come inside and I'm like his, his arms are like this, right? I'm holding this arm and he's laying over my back. If I do it this way, forward kick, right? And as he goes to, let's say, escape the move, I can spin the opposite way and I can take him from the outside. So let's look back to these again. So if I was doing these, it's a, a practice step, right? Forward kick, twist and spring. Forward kick, twist and spring. Forward kick, twist and spring. Uh, inner leg lift. Forward kick, leg lift. Forward kick. Good. Right. He skates, I stand, I go for his standing leg, and I lift, and I'm pulling on right? Here, control, hands in the back of his head, push him over. And then, what did we do? Uh, forward kick, and next around him, lift it, right? Forward kick. Next around him, lift it. Forward kick, next around him, lift it. Forward kick, next around him, lift it. Forward kick. And we did bowing. So forward kick, I come inside. <clears throat> Bro. And you can do it with the leg in the air or top of the leg back. Show both the feet. So here, escapes. Go back, drop, Come back, pull yourself down. Then from here, from the cuff, boom, he escapes, right? He's got his arm, he escapes, and look, I can just drop to this way, boom. So here, spin, boom, uh, throw. Let's see, what's another one? Uh, if he works off the other arm, right? So I go to the forward kick, he 
feet escapes, and I'm able to wrap his arm up. There's horizontal foot, right? Forward kick, horizontal foot. Forward kick, horizontal foot. Forward kick, horizontal foot. Or on a circle foot, right? Same thing. Forward kick, circle, foot. Forward kick, circle, foot. Forward kick, circle, foot. Forward kick, circle, foot. Uh, yeah, well, can you really do all of this? Uh, maybe I've done all of them at one time. How about that? Uh, but it's irrelevant. The more I practice combining pieces together, and uh, or like this one, right? Uh, a triple. Uh, forward kick, twist and spring, outside or down. Forward kick, he escapes. I come to sweep this leg. He escapes it. I turn, and now I'm on this side of him, right? I've got his arms, so he's turned like this, and I either I drop him or I lift him. Again, the more I practice the leg lifting maneuvers, the better. For I want that out. Anyway, I'll take uh, I don't know, a few more of these uh, as we go along. I think it's probably better if you can see the movements and all of that stuff. So uh, anyway, I hope you like the video and practice some of these movements. And it doesn't matter again. Oh, I can't do that. I don't, you know, that's too difficult to practice on a person. And that idea, that silly thing. The more that you work the different movements, they're all intertwined. Yes, there's categories, but they're all intertwined. It takes the same physical attributes to do this versus that. And maybe this, you know, yeah, this isn't the easiest move in the, the world to do. But, my balance and my coordination may get better for me practicing that so that this other throw that I really like, I'm also enhancing it, right? And of course you want to take that throw that you believe in and, and practice it, right? And, and get better with it. But in the beginning, and I think, you know, throughout, uh, there are throws that I just do not like. You know, like, you know, it's because of my height or my build, or I just don't grasp it as well as maybe someone else. Or I don't believe in it, I guess it's a better way to say it. And, uh, but I have to force myself to do that. I teach people, and if I just did what I like, uh, or what I thought was good, then I'm going to abandon a large portion of the system, and I don't want to do that. So I try my best to teach all of the throats whether I am that great at them or not. And I will tell people that. You know, there's uniquely two or three throws that most people are going to get good at. And um, heck, some people may get good at a whole bunch of them. There's one thing performing it, it's like my, like my Sibu says. There's one thing practicing in class. There's another thing doing demonstrations. There's another thing competing in a full contact situation. And then there's even other scenarios of that. Out there, you know, you're at the, you stop at a sketchy gas station to get gas at 11 o'clock at night, and, and there's some, some people there that really don't mean you well. And, you know, so these different environments, uh, like in the class setting or at home, you may be able to practice all kinds of stuff, and you should. But then, each of these situations, you, it's going to become more and more limited on what you're going to be able to execute to uh, your folks. And you want to be real clear with that. And uh, 
So, so anyway, I hope you liked the video, and uh, like I said, I, I hope to make a few more of these, and then there will be videos where I'm, I'm merging the, the Tai Chi and the Swai Jiao postures together, which is what my, my Siegel and Master Chong, uh, you know, this, this is what Chong Shi Tai Chi is all about. So I want to share that with people from what I've, I've gathered from my, my Siegel. And there's other people out there that do all this stuff the same as me, and they're probably potentially they're better at it than me. Or maybe they're worse, it doesn't matter. Uh, like my, um, my CEO would say, there's enough sky for everyone, right? Meaning, I do this this way, you do it that way kind of deal. And but that, it doesn't mean you shortchange something. It's just like the Tai Chi. If you practice it, it's going to become your Tai Chi. And you're going to do it based off your age and your physical capacity and your comprehension skills. And the squad out is the same way. We have all of these resources to improve us, and then we, we in essence, almost specialize in doing it in a certain way that fits our needs. And that's truly what the system is like. And that is that is that's genuine training. You're not just becoming a robot. You're understanding and you're learning something. You're developing as you go. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.